Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at K and Pilates. Welcome to another Pilates workout. I'm thrilled you could join me today. So let's begin. Come into supine, just half your cushion by the side somewhere where you can easily reach it. We'll start without the cushion under the head and we will go into our pelvic tilts. So maybe have your hands on your whip hip connection, your thumbs by your lower ribs, your little fingers by your hip bones, and then um, the fingertips just towards your belly button. Yeah. So you breathe in to prepare, breathe out, gently imprint. Breathe in and arch away. So we just move the pelvis, and notice how our whip hip connection changes as we're doing that. So the ribs and hips come a bit closer together as we imprint, and then they stretch further apart as we arch the back away. Yeah, so we flex the spine, just the lumbar spine, and then we extend the lower back. Good. Let's do one more of these. And then we will gradually make our way up into bridge. So we'll just on the next pelvic tilt, lift the hips just a little bit away from the floor and then lower back down, extend, imprint, push the feet down, lift a bit higher up. So really gradually moving through the spine towards bridge. So we of gradual spine curl here and just notice how the spine is feeling today. Mm. If in doubt, breathe. If you want a breathing pattern, you breathe in to prepare and then breathe out, imprint and roll up. Breathe in to arch away. Breathe out to imprint and lift. So we're sort of making our way up here gradually. And while we're doing that, we just want to be aware of the alignment between our knees and our hip bones, our knees and our toes. We just have to guess where they are. Having the toes pointing forwards, the feet parallel. And then also something that is quite curious to be aware of is we tend to to sort of lean into our stronger side with anything that we do. So as we're going through these, just notice whether there's more weight on one foot or the other, or whether you may be a bit sort of leaning to one side more than the other, quite common. So just sort of see what you can um, notice in terms of alignment there. Good. So we'll Gradually getting there, let's do one more and then actually come all the way up into bridge. So, and then here we find that neutral whip hip connection again with the knees pointing forward. Send the knees forward, have that um, notion of really sending them over the toes just to make sure that the knees don't fall out to the side. Super important for our progression into knee floats in a moment. Yeah. So here, we'll just stay here for a moment. Just make sure that your feet are under your knees for a bit more support. Um, you're on your shoulder blades, so not on your shoulders, um, on the shoulders, just on the shoulder blades. The chest, sorry, the chest is quite heavy. And then we breathe into our whip cage. We go into our lateral breath. Yeah, so the navel is drawn in a teeny tiny bit. And then you breathe into the ribs. Maybe think about breathing into your shoulder blades. And to see how that feels. So nothing else is happening. You might feel the glutes working, supporting you. Try to relax the shoulders, the face the jaw, the tongue, 
And maybe scan the body to see where you can support yourself a bit more, where you could release a little bit more. Good. One more breath. Roll all the way back down, bit by bit. So. And release. Good. Just extend the legs. Have a bit of a stretch. We will go back into bridge in a moment, adding our heel lifts or knee floats. Choose the version that um, is best for you today. So you breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, imprint, come back up into bridge. The feet are under the knees, knees point forwards, with hip connection is in neutral. And then breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, either float one heel up, so keeping a toes on the floor, or push one foot down and lift the whole leg away for your knee floats. Find the same footprint. As I just said, we tend to go into our stronger side. So if one side is stronger, we tend to sort of move towards that without knowing. It's very, very subtle. So really try and focus. Finding that same footprint in line with your hip bend. So as I said, continue with the, just the heel lift if doing these is a little bit too much today. But your focus is on your whip hip connection keeping your pelvis still, keeping your spine alignment still. Yeah, and then the moving leg challenges that, but really focus on what's staying still. That supporting leg, keeping the knee pointing forwards as it wants to drop out. Yeah, so your foundation that's actually holding this all up, obviously really quite important to get this right. Breathe out to lift and in to lower. And if you find this is all working, your hip connection is in neutral, you're using your lateral breath, you're keeping that slight connection to your center, to then challenge yourself again, um, you can reach the arms up. And then do the same thing here. It's just a little bit more wobbly again without that um, connection of the arms. And if that's too much, of course, bring the hands to the hips. One more. Even out right and left. If you want to, breathe in to reach the arms back. Breathe in anyway, but reach the arms back if you want to. And then roll down. Enjoy that extra stretch if that feels good. Release the arms if you need to. Again, have a nice long stretch. Good. And then maybe also hug. The knees in. My mic is getting in the way there. Good. That is, we will go into our um, arm circles. So place one foot down and then the other. Grab your cushion. Place that under your head. Make yourself really comfy here. Good. And then breathe and reach the arms back. Remember to keep the ribs in. Yeah, keeping that um, alignment of your whip hip connection and then let the arms move quite independently from that stay away from the floor just hover above the floor and then see how the shoulders feel and maybe notice where you feel this movement which muscles switch on which muscles stretch yeah one more this way around. And then reverse. So this can feel quite different to see how your shoulders find this. Um, if you can, you want to bring the arms back into parallel before bringing them forwards. If that's too big a range of movement, obviously you can you know, go for a shortcut, which doesn't quite get into that parallel position. So again, just see how the shoulders feel. Breathe in. And out. Good. Relax the arms by your sides. Yeah, we'll add those arm circles to our spinal flexion so we come into a curl up. And you can do this with the feet on the floor or in tabletop. I will demonstrate this in tabletop. But um, if that's too much, yeah, doing the same thing just with the feet on the floor 
also a very nice option. So we continue with these arm circles and the main thing is not to let the arms go too far back. Yeah, so you breathe into a pair, breathe out, chin to chest, ribs to hips, navel to spine, and then reach the arms forwards. Now we try to keep the upper body as still as possible. Breathe in, take the arms back, breathe out, circle them around. So keep the arms a little bit in front of you. We'll do four of these. One more. And then we go the other way around. So try not to let the arms pull the body down. Breathe, draw the navel in. Last one. Good, and then lower down. Relax the head from side to side if there's any tension there. Good, so stay in tabletop if you're already here or come and join us here and we'll go into our knee drops. Yeah. So again, this is about keeping the pelvis and the spine still, taking the knee to the side just a little bit, usually a little bit less than we might think. And if you want to, add the opposite arm. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to return. And then really notice drawing the navel in. So if you're not too sure what your center is doing, have your hands on your belly button. Really notice the navel draw in as the leg lowers, breathing into the ribs as you return. So really notice what's happening here. Yeah, and if you're quite confident quite confident that that's all good, then add the opposite arm for your next progression. Breathe out and then. Last two. And as always, ideally even out right and left. Fabulous. Lower the arms down, one foot, then the other. Bring the hands behind your head. We'll go into oblique curls. We breathe into prepare, breathe out to rotate. So here, keep the pelvis still. So this side would really connect to the floor, and then lower down, relax, breathe out, and then Draw the navel in a bit on that rotation and then release as you lower down. Just one thing, as we lower, don't stick the ribs out in um, our position. So as you lower the upper body down, see if you can keep the ribs in. Try to keep the knees quite still, the feet connected to the floor. <sighs> Last two. We go into single leg stretch. So we'll go into a sequence, swapping between single leg stretch and crisscross. Um, stop and rest if you need to at any time. Join back in once you're ready, if you need a bit of a breather in between. So we'll come into tabletop, into curl up, chin to chest, ribs to hips, navel to spine. Hold on to one leg, or if your neck needs a bit more support, have your hands behind your head again. Yeah. Breathe in to prepare without a swap. We do eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stay here, place your hands behind your head, crisscross, rotate, breathe out, one, two, three, this is not elbow to knee. Yes, yeah, a single leg stretch. Five, I think. <laughs> Six, I lost count. Seven. And eight. Same thing again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight. Place your hands behind your head. Rotate. One, two, three. Oh, nearly there. Five, six, seven, eight. Get lower down, have a rest and a stretch. Place one foot down and then the other. Again, extend arms and legs, have a nice long stretch. Stretch from side to side, have a bit of a wiggle here. Place the feet back onto the floor, good. So hold onto one leg, just draw the knee in towards you and then just try not to push the back down. So here again, we want to keep the, the back in near neutral and then extend the leg away into full extension. We've done this during the series. Yeah, so you just want to find where that is for you. It doesn't matter how high the leg is, but you want to extend the leg fully. And each time you just push the foot a bit further up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, bring the knee in. Breathe out, push the foot away. One more. Good, and just leave the, the leg wherever you find that full extension with a bit of a stretch along the hamstrings. Yeah, so if you can hold on to your leg and that's comfy, do that. If that's not the best option for you, just let the leg hover wherever, wherever that is for you. And then we go into our ankle circles. Make sure that your head is supported so you're not looking behind you, the neck is nice and long. Circle the other way around. Really enjoy this. Breathe deeply. So this is your time for your belly breathing. Yeah, where you breathe and let the belly button float up. And then breathe out, let the belly button drop. Good. So flex and point. Enjoy that stretch. Breathe deeply. <laughs> Remember these ease off after a few. So the first few tend to be really mean and then they get a bit better. They do. One more. Place the foot back down. Good. Starting on the other side, breathe in. Extend, find a full extension. Just a gentle stretch along the hamstrings. Yeah. See where that is for you today, and it's very likely a bit different from side to side. So here you can use your belly breathing as well. Here we're trying to stretch. One more. And then stay wherever that is for you, and circle the foot. And it is just with stretches, the ones that we find the most challenging, not only with stretches actually, also with the other exercises, strength, wise, or endurance. The ones we find the most challenging are the ones we need to do the most, but those are the ones we don't really want to do because they're difficult. So it's off that cycle. So try to enjoy your hamstring stretch if that's challenging, especially if it's challenging. And remember to breathe. Relax the shoulder, close your eyes if you want to. Yeah, as we said in the beginning, see where you can ease a bit more, where you can support a bit more. Good. Place the foot back down and then cross one leg over the other, do either stay here. Yeah, some of you might feel this already here, or if not, then draw the legs in. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe into your belly. Good. Really enjoy your, your stretches. Try to keep the mind with your breath and your body. 
Very often our minds are ones off to all sorts of, uh, all sorts of other stuff. So if your mind needs a bit more to do, then just focus on the breath. Scan the body and find any tension along the way. Release that tension. Yeah. And we release the tension by breathing deeply. Good. Swap the legs over. To either stay here or draw the legs in. Lengthen the neck, relax the shoulders. Also, if this is quite a challenging stretch for you, there's another variation um, as well that you might want to try as an option in the future. I will go into that in a moment. But for now, as we're here, breathe, release. The hips are really heavy, so we're not lifting the hips up to get more of a stretch out of this. The hips are heavy, the abdominals are relaxed. Place the foot down and then the other. So as a variation to that stretch, you can come into sitting and do the same thing basically. Um, leaning back a little bit, wherever it's comfy. And then again, depending on how easy it is for you to get into this. So you can either just place your ankle onto the thigh and then we're there basically. Or if you need a little bit more space to get into that you have your foot on just above your knee not on your knee just above your knee and then you draw that heel towards you and the closer the, this heel is towards you the stronger the stretch is and then you want to relax into this version ideally send the heart forward rather than slump into that space yeah so you can try this also this is quite a nice version to do in front of the telly yeah, so if this is quite a challenging, challenging stretch, clearly that bird is challenging. Um, if this is quite a challenging stretch, so maybe do this while you're watching telly, if you're watching telly. Yeah. And then we also, so you can either just take the foot away or extend the leg again to release. Yeah, so it really depends on um, how happy your, your hip is with all, with all of this. And as with the other version, you really want to breathe into the belly, release as much as possible. Every now and then, we'll remember to send the heart forward. But really let this leg relax. So we're not holding on to it. We're letting that knee drop away. Yeah. And don't worry too much about the shape, how this looks. Um, I come across that quite often in class. Um, that we're a bit worried, does this look okay or something? That's not the point. You just want to get into a gentle stretch for your outer thigh, mobilize the hip a bit. Yeah. Good. Place the foot back down. Come into sitting, take a nice deep breath in. And out. And we're done.